cracking the targets for Robson, but it's Varga who gets there first. That's good play from Mark Kerr. A high floating ball in, but it's well dealt with by Fernandez. Support arrives from Robson. That's a better delivery. And Fernandez with the shot blocked. It was Virgo in the way. Now this is a good position for Nakamura. Just the area he likes to put it in. Left footed. Plenty of options in the box. One is John Hudson. As easy as that. Shot it the head. John Harson's 16th goal of the season. By Robson on his right foot. Good ball in for Jim McIntyre. And a good header as well. And that's top goalkeeping from Arthur Boritz. Duff and Brebner combining. Plenty of time and room here for Stuart Duff. Measured the cross from McIntyre. Good knockdown! What a chance. For Derek McInnes, who scored in spectacular style against Falkirk. Robson's free kick, free header for Alan Archibald, off target. Here's Fernandez! It's 1 1 now. A muted reaction from David Fernandez against the team who used to pay his wages. Nakamura conjure something else for Celtic for John Harson. Great save, Derek Stilly. In from Maloney. It's another free header. It's another Celtic goal. And it's Maciej Zurawski this time. And Dundee United have only themselves to blame. Celtic will look to kill it, having got themselves 2-1 ahead, and should Sean Maloney have had a penalty there, it looked very like it. Maloney can't believe it. He can't bear to look, because he thought Mike Ritchie was a certainty to be pointing to the spot. The referee thought otherwise. Stuart Duff will feel very lucky. John Hartson, that uh, immovable object. But United get it back. Kerr through for Fernandez. He's away from Virgo. It's David Fernandez. And it's a good save by Boritz. Nakamura through. Perfect timing. Wilson cuts it back. Zurowski almost had it. Uncertain defending from McCracken. Petro shot deflected. And in. He looks almost embarrassed. He won't be, because Celtic look as if now they've put themselves out of sight at 3 1. Oxen slick. Zarevsky away from Archibald. Sean Maloney. Back with Zarevsky. Within inches of 4 1. Good skill from Robson. Now needs a good ball in for Jim McIntyre. And Lee Miller is onside. And it's 3 2. A stunned Celtic Park. I think looking the home support for the flag to go up. It wasn't going to happen for them. And a little bit of hope late on for Dundee United after terrific ability from Tony Robson, clever header from McIntyre. Celtic looked for the flag, it wasn't coming. And the substitute Miller is struck within a couple of minutes of coming on the pitch. In the 82nd minute, 3-2. Celtic with that one goal advantage. Dundee United will push again for an equaliser. Kerr, neat touch from Miller. David Fernandez, round Boritz, it's 3-0. What a sensational finish this is at Celtic Park. 
and Fernandez, who squared it in the first half, does the same again in the second. Stylian Petrov hit the deck inside the penalty box. David McCracken was the defender involved, and Mike Ritchie again had a big decision to make. We've showed a lot of character to come uh, three times, really, were, were dead and buried. It, and uh, to come back from 3 1 down at Parkhead to get a point, yep, it shows, uh, tells me something. And cruising 3 3. Yeah, the same thing that's happened over the last few games at Celtic Park. I think you tend to see whatever the opposition is, they'll get uh, not just two or three chances, Jim, they'll get five, six, seven chances. And that's the problem Celtic have. And for Dundee United, they took those chances. Uh, great uh, character to come back. I think there was a hint of offside here, but I think it was Sean Maloney, just out of picture, who was playing him on. But a wonderful way they worked to go. And I love this finish. Great composure. Takes it round the keeper and slots it through. He deserved it. Fraser, he deserved it. It was a marvellous finish. But you still have to ask questions of that Celtic defence, especially at the third goal for United there. Yeah, they're losing goals too easily. And I wonder whether it's a style of play. You know, they're a very attacking team, both at uh, fullback area. They ask the fullbacks to get so far forward, they do leave gaps. And, and Neil Lennon's the only defensive player in, in, the, in the midfield. And it'll be an interesting game on, on Wednesday night because I think teams do go to Parkhead now and think that they will get chances. And uh, it was a strange game because Dundee United really gave Celtic the three goals. Terrible marking in the box and also not closing down Petrov quick enough. So it'll be an interesting game on Wednesday night. Well, Andy, you've been calling for Stylian Petrov to be handed a new contract. He was given that last week, quite surprisingly, I think, given certain and comments that have been made yeah. and he weighed in with a goal on Saturday but slightly fortuitous Yeah I think it's a terrific piece of business to get a player like that uh, tied up on a, a longer term deal uh, at 20 minutes to go Petrov scoring 3-1 you thought that was it but uh, United kept coming at them and Celtic's lack of a commanding figure at the back